Hey everyone, welcome back. This video we're going to be talking about a special function to check if a string is lowercase. And there's actually another function to check if a string is uppercase. When would you want to use this? I have no idea, but it's good to know that it exists. Especially when you have methods like lower, that lowercase a string, it's nice to be able to check if something is lowercase. Also apologies if there's background noise. The person above me has decided to run on the treadmill of all times. Psh, unbelievable. Anywho, let's go through this example and check to see if a string is lowercase. So this is the loop we had in the previous video, and we're just showing a use case of this lower method where we take an input and we lowercase it to see if it's equal to the value y. It reduces us from having to say if response is y or if response is uppercase y. Then there's two things that we have to worry about. Instead, in this case, we only have to worry about one. So to check, we're going to need a string. We'll just say if response dot is lower parentheses. Then what we're going to do is print its lowercase. So that'll be interesting. Continue. And what is our response? Let's say y with a lowercase y. Press enter, and it says it's lowercase. Put it with an uppercase y and it just says continue, it doesn't say it's lowercase. And we need to change the text to it's upper. So running this now, if we say Y capital, it says it's upper. Now what happens if you have multiple characters? So like what if we put yes? Well in this situation, it just ends. That's because this does not evaluate to true and then we break from the loop. So in order for something to be upper, every single character has to be uppercase. In order for something to be lowercase, every character has to be lowercase. So let's try again and put a full uppercase string. Yes. We run that, it says it's upper. The loop still ends because we're checking for the single character Y and not the string yes, because we're looking for this here. However, we can definitely tell that it's uppercase. So we could put something in here, no need to yell. Running this now, the same exact thing happens, we just changed the output, so now it'll tell us to stop yelling. So that's how you use the isUpper and isLower methods. Thanks guys, stay tuned for the next one. And yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to the next one because we're gonna review everything we just talked about. And who doesn't love reviewing hundreds of lines of code? I mean, it's gonna be a blast, so stay tuned.